Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'll be showing you yet another custom LEGO minifigure and today I'll be showing you Kratos from the God of War saga. Now this figure was a ton of work uh, but I gotta say I am pleased with the outcome as he does look extremely accurate and uh, a really good part is that he is fully posable. Uh, I'm not gonna do it right now but once we get into the video I will show you that. I just figured I'd mention it as past figures of mine have not been posable. Um, but yeah guys, that's about it, so let's get right into this video. Okay, so for the accessories, there is the Brick Warriors Vambrace that I painted in gold. There is the chains, and those are actually just standard Lego chains, but I did modify them and remove one of the studs on the end, so that way I could uh, attach them on the hands, and I'll show you how I did that. But also he features obviously the Blades of Chaos and his loincloth I want to call it. I don't really know exactly what it's called but I'm going to call it a loincloth. Uh, and what I'm referring to is that of course. And that's actually just paper that I cut up and painted. And I have to say it looks pretty good and pretty accurate to Kratos' character. So I am pleased with it. Uh, so let's just get into some of the finer details of this minifigure. Okay guys, so let's start off with the head, and as you can see, Kratos features his kind of signature goatee, which is obviously painted on because everything is. Uh, he has his scar on his left eye, and then he has the red paint going all the way from the front all the way down to the back. Now the back was kind of probably the most simple thing of this minifigure, is it's just the red markings and then a few things to show definition in the back. but. I mean, for what it is, it looks good, it looks like what it should, and uh, so for that I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Uh, the front of the torso though, on the other hand, was actually extremely hard to do, let me just go out like that. Um, so I mean, as you can see, the abs are printed on, there's a little bit of ribs over there, and uh, it's just a lot of detail for what it is it was definitely not easy to do I think I went through four or five different versions and I rage quit a couple times because I just failed uh, but I'm happy to see that it finally actually worked out like I wanted it to now moving on to the arms and the legs as you can see on the right arm the red paint continues on uh, if I actually pose it in a different way as you can see it actually continues on there if you do move it, the downside is it doesn't look as continuous like it flows. And uh, also on the right arm, you can see those silver lines. You may notice that they are a bit bumpy and kind of lumpy and stuff, but they were made that way on purpose so it looked like he had chains wrapped around his arms because that's what he does have in the game. And then there's just a leather uh, sort of arm cover thing don't know what it'll be called if you want to if you know what I'm talking about just tell me in the comments and uh, then here this is supposed to be a section of the golden fleece on his left arm uh, and for that I used a brick warriors van brace like I said before and uh, moving on to the legs and as you can see here the legs do feature their fair share of detail this being only the front uh, I'll show you the back once I remove everything uh, but as you can see, there's just a few golden stripes. The golden dots towards the ankle, I mean uh, the kneecap-ish area, those are supposed to be bolts. Um, and then there's another chain that wraps around his leg, but like I said, you can't see. So let me just remove the accessories from the figure to give you a better look at some of the overall painting. Okay guys, I kind of lied there. Uh, before I do show you the complete figure, I just wanted to show you his loincloth. And as you can see on the front, it features some designs. And then here's uh, some buttons. And over on the back, there's some more buttons. Now on the back and both sides, I did add those gold stripes. Those weren't in any reference photos. Uh, or And also, they weren't in any video game or anything like that. I just decided to add them in because honestly the sides looked really really plain, especially the left side. Uh, so I did do that just to kind of give it a little bit of extra detail. Um, but yeah guys, so now I will actually show you the figure. Okay guys, so 
Uh, as you can see, this is Kratos without his accessories, obviously, and um, most of the detail you can see with the accessories. The only thing that you really can't see is the fact that the belt does continue on the legs, as you can see here if I remove it. There is the golden belt that continues, and then there are two golden stripes there and there on the legs. You can barely see them because they're really thin, and then the chain does continue all the way around the right leg. Okay guys, uh, before wrapping this video up, I just figured I would show you guys the Blades of Chaos in kind of more detail, uh, as they are fully painted, and it was actually quite a bit more work than you might think. Um, so as you can see, it's pretty much a orc sword, uh, painted orange with red in the middle, and then in the red there are various markings that are actually on the blades, and then there's the gold hilt, and then... The black, the brown right there, that is supposed to be a skull. Uh, I would have done some painting on there, but I really didn't feel like messing up because you can't exactly take this paint off easily when you mess up. And also, you really wouldn't be able to see it anyways. Uh, but I also, while we're here, I figured I would show you how I got it on. And what you do is you just take the last loop and you slide it all the way down onto the hands. And uh, it actually stays on pretty nicely most of the time. The only downside is sometimes the hands uh, will just kind of pop off on their own, you know. Uh, that can actually be pretty annoying, but it's nothing a little careful handling can't solve. Okay guys, so let's go and end this video right now. Okay guys, that's just about it for this custom LEGO minifigure. And, I mean, these minifigures, there's so much work, they take hours and hours of work, trial and error, you know, you go through different revisions of them. And not only that, but recording the videos can take 30 to 40 minutes, and then uh, all the time that goes into editing and uploading them. I would really appreciate, guys, if you could uh, like this video and also subscribe, just so all that work gets seen by you. Um, so if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to do that, and don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. Also, I do have a Flickr, and there's a link to that on my channel. Um, so yeah, guys, that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.